Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Chino Hills, California to visit world-renowned painter Steve DeMont and check out a couple of his outlandish creations. Now, I met Steve a while ago and was absolutely blown away by his work. I knew I had to come and get a closer look, and believe me, there's a lot to see. Feast your eyes. Steve, great to see you again, man. <laughs> you too. I tell you, it was it was last year at SEMA, and you know SEMA's just got the best of the best. There's just everything there. It's magical. It's unbelievable. But I'm walking down one of the aisles. I see this '59, and and I told you. I mean, it literally stopped me in my tracks, and that doesn't happen very often. But this thing is so outlandish. It just blew me away. That's what I try to do. It was the impact of it, and uh, to have you know you and like Chip Fuse and all these like hot rod guys to come take a look at it was, you know, I wanted to be that impact. Was it shocking? Yeah. I was surprised of what it did. That's for and was sure. it shocking? Good. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it was. Yeah. That's it. Because you can shock. It's not always good. Right. This thing is. I mean, it's breathtaking, but it's it's a piece of art. In the early days, I mean, you built cars, you, you built stuff, you painted and all, you've, you've evolved more to primarily painting these days, and that's what your role was really here. This car was done, but not done. Yeah, it was a traditional car. And this was the color that it had on it. And like you say, it was kind of it was a traditional thing, because you got the handles, you got, I mean, it's not, the body's not really modified very much. And working with this color has got to be tricky, but like you say, she's light up here. You know, you got candies, and then you you know, there is the, the striping that's in there. This dash, though, I mean, from the outside, this dash just like, it just screams. You use the term deep. I've never seen paint that looked as deep as this. You're, you know, like the drops. It's like I'm looking down, it's, it's like it's 3D. Yeah, it's all 3D and layered. It's cleared three times in between, in between artwork and stuff, you know, so that's called my insurance. But if you take that time to do that, you get all the depth out of it. And, you know, as soon as you walk up to, from the front to the dash, it kind of just grabs you and it's gonna bring you all, you know, into the inside and all the way to the back. Yeah, well, and speaking of the inside, I mean, because this is, this is stunning, too. You know, you got that screaming dash, and from the cockpit, now I'm seeing more of the gold than even the green looking back at me, a right. kind, of, kind of a lime gold almost. As far as the dash and, and like, the center console and stuff, I wanted to, you know, learning from, like, Chip Foose and seeing what type of stuff he does and, and using parts that are on the car uh -huh. into the interior somehow and using this rear spear in the center section and then... I got them on the door Which is kind of the well. trunk spear, right? Right. And the curve back, that's another T-Bird thing, but is that a T-Bird or is that, is that that's custom? All, yeah, that's all custom made, but it, it's to mimic the Thunderbird. And are there, I mean, is this is it lit at all inside? I mean... Yeah, it has, it has LEDs up in the headliner, and then in the, in the quarter panel pockets at night, it actually glows through the door panels. Oh. <laughs> and, it, you know, the 59 dash pod is, is incredible, and now it's chromed out, it's, it's even more beautiful. But here's, you know, it's the roof and the trunk, like you say, light, heavier sledgehammer but man you got you got a silver yeah these are my speed lines that came out with a long time ago They're kind of tracers almost huh yeah i call them speed lines because you just you know start from the back and you fade them out and they actually look like it's got some movement in it you uh -huh. know? what's this you know this this, swirly is, wavy. this is all like old carter and drag race you know kenny youngblood type of stuff yeah. from the old dragsters and stuff you know and because there were some wild paint jobs on those cars oh yeah that people tend to forget yeah so you got the speed lines then you got these wild doodahs but it's the drops man that is so 3d right. and then there's almost this is almost a purple line pinstripe but it but it's not pinstripe it's like it's gold leaf it's variegated gold leaf oh man but she slides back down of this beautiful bubble back window to this magnificent wild trunk <laughs> i mean first of all what a canvas the the 59 rear end is and then topping it off with the continental kit back here and these wild tail lights the siamese cat tail lights that the 59 impala had you know i just noticed that these the separations are gold i wanted to bring a little bit of gold to it because i mm -hmm. got so much gold on the car so all the emblems and all the little badges and stuff you know so it just gives it that little touch you know uh -huh. a little extra the longer you look at it the more you see and it just sucks you in it's you're like you're absorbed by this thing. Well, like the paint jobs I like doing is I like you to come back two, three, four times and start to see what's really into the paint job, you know? This could have had a 348, does it still? Yeah, it still let's, has original Let's go look at the engine. Wow, so uh, the very distinctive valve covers of a 348 
very chromed and polished, polished aluminum too. Clean looking, a little bit of that Steve touch there. On yeah, the just on the top cleaner. of it. It doesn't uh -huh. need much on the inside. I mean, this is pretty original looking in here. Yeah. Might have smoothed out the firewall a little bit so you could, yeah, there could do, be some airbrushing on yeah, there. Yeah, they did a little bit of work on it. Is the undercarriage and everything done in this car too? Yeah, it's a full tur turntable car. The belly's painted, the frame's done, all chromed <laughs> out, nine inch rear end, disc brakes. and. Well, it's a. Uh, I mean, we drove it up here, so she obviously runs. Can we take it out for a little bit of road work? Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Oh, man. Can I drive I, it a little bit? I'd I, love, want I would you, love to drive this Yeah, it, you know, low riders are kind of funny. They're to different. Drive. They're different than a hot rod, you know, and to have you drive it and, you know, nitpick it a little bit. And, and uh, <laughs> well, I, was, I, I think it's a good thing, you know. I'm just like, going to have a good time, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Close her up, buddy. <laughs> Come on, baby. We're rolling. Contact. This is different <laughs> in the way it rides. It, it's stiff, it's bouncy, and it kind of wanders. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you that little bit of a different, <laughs> different type of driving, that's for sure, you know, compared to like, you know, a hot rod or something like that. But they're made for cruising, you know, no Ooh. high speed stuff. Low and slow. Yeah. <laughs> squeak, squeak, bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Is that some of the low rider suspension mechanism I'm hearing? Yeah, some of it's just like being tight because the cylinders come through the floor uh -huh. and if, if the springs aren't greased, they start making noise a little bit. I swear, man, I'd, I'd have a wreck in this thing. Just, I'd be so mesmerized by this dash, I would be so sucked into it that I wouldn't be watching the road. I'd, you know, go careening off. <laughs> Yeah, there's so much to look at, you know, inside and out. It really is, and sure. it is. It's inside and out. I mean, everywhere in this car. This sculpting of the radio is pretty wild. Yeah, it's all Frenched in, so I've taken it out, welded a plate into it, and the bottom dash is all shaved, made all these panels and chromed it. And Did took... you have to paint up under that? Yeah, it's all painted up in graphics all the way through. And then again, you know, the sun comes in and, and lights up that dash. She gets looks everywhere it goes. Oh man, man I, I yeah. gotta believe. Cruising and trying to keep between the lines. Exactly. <laughs> but you're right, slow is better in this car. Yeah. It, it likes going slow. It likes going low. These low riders, they make some sounds, they, they have some bounces, they have some wander. It's not just a car, it's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're, you're sort of right about that lowrider setup being a little bit different on, on the 59. It, it does drive a little bit differently, <laughs> but I love it. I told you it'd be a little loose, little, it's a, it's you know, little riding on smaller tires than it is yeah, on 20s yeah. and stuff. It's a little bit but different. you know, it looks so good. You look so good in it. What's yeah. not to love, right? So this, the 63 or the 64 Impala is sort of the quintessential lowrider body. I mean, this is what the lowriders really went for when it all began, yes? No? Right, yeah? right, yeah. But this is done more as a hot rod. This is done more almost as a resto mod. Yeah, this, What'd you call it? You call it a, th a lowrod? This is a low rod, but I needed to put a little twist into it. So it's got airbags, it's got uh -huh. 20s and 18s on it. It's got a little bit of fancy little things going on in the paint job, but it's got a burnt orange candy in it. You know, keeping it real mild and deeper into the paint. It is, and you know, it's it's got stuff going on. It's very, very subtle. You have to, you know, you have to look to see it. Yeah, it's just got gold pearls on it. That's it. That's is that all? You yeah, mean these are the same paints here and here? Yeah, it's got gold pearl and just a little touch of um, tangerine candy. And that's about huh. it. Now, how about the you know the almost ghost stripes that are there? Is that still done by? That's just tape lines and stuff uh -huh. that uh, you know that come off the front nose of a dragster and stuff. You know, back in the day and. So I'm keeping it real mellow and just doing tape shades into it. You know, I see you've done kind of that Steve touch here on the dash, like, I'm, you know, from the outside, I'm seeing some pretty cool stuff there. That's a, another gold leaf, but it looks red or orange. It, it's or? tangerine candy. It's something that's just a gravity to bring you into the inside. But then behind that, there's kind of a, I don't know, like a, it's a, it's a ghost a, uh, it's flake. A, or? Yeah, it's a gold pearl. It's a heavier pearl. Um, 
So it's a little bit more chunkier than like the finer pearls. And then here you've got this uh, leaf here. When it catches the sun, you know, you can see that some stuff's been done here. Again, you got to look at it, but there's a lot of design work up here too. Yeah, there's a lot of little things going on in the paint job, but to keep it mellow and be able to go to like good guys or a hot rod show and keep it kind of mellow. Interior, very nice. Again, this kind of this resto mod, like you say, low rod look. Has that dash been shaved back a bit? No, it's actually stock dash. No kidding. And, and, yeah, and then they put the vintage gauge digital and stuff in it to, uh -huh. into it. And Gosh, it seems like it drops back so far, but that's the way it came, eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, really nice. But really, you know, versus the 59 Impala, which was just over the top crazy, this thing is like just downright mellow. Oh, yeah. And, and it's, subtle. It's like I got to ch change my designs on some of the stuff, depending on what kind of customer I'm, that's coming to me at the time. And then again, real subtle, got to look for it, but this kind of ghost graphic that you've inserted right down that panel. And you, you have to have the light right to even see what's done over on the yeah, it'll, on the side here, because that's just, you know, what's given me that separation? Is that more pearl? Yeah, this is actually gold pearl, and it's just, you know, on a tape line, and it's uh -huh. just faded out into the paint job. So it lightens up, you know, when the light hits it. But when the light goes away on it, the whole car, like at night, almost only, like, yeah, it'll go real on the orange side, but burnt. And then the leaf will actually get picked up more with the lighting, so it'll actually, you know, 3D and kind of look, you know, like it's electrified. Yeah. I heard it earlier though, because it sounds really healthy. It's got something pretty, pretty stout under the hood. Let's let's go see what what's, what's popped in there. Yeah. Now that looks thoroughly modern. What do we have? LS LS1 LS. I think it's a two. Uh huh. It could be an LS1. I'm not even sure. My friend does like guy I went to high school with the one that did all the chassis work to it. You know, he's the one that put all the Hotchkiss suspension air ride and you know keeping it all hot rod and keeping it all black powder coated and this is one that you know i mean it's, it's built for fun yeah it's built to drive you know it's built to go to the beach and you know we're an hour away uh, the car's from the beach but you know he drives it from huntington huntington beach all the way down to manhattan beach you know so he's you know he's, he's running he's around pretty good oh yeah well let's run it around a little bit okay close her up man i can drive this one too right oh yeah that's oh, for yeah. sure we won't tell him <laughs> <laughs> all right let's Hope do to it. see it on tv <laughs> This is night and day different from the 59. Oh, I yeah. mean, it tracks, it tracks straight. Yeah, it's, you know, drag car style and, you know, uh, Hotchkiss suspension and stuff on it with the air ride. And so it's totally different, you know, with all the sway bar stuff on yeah. it. It keeps everything real tight to the ground and, you know, it's aimed where it's supposed to go. This is uh, much more civilized. Yeah, that's for sure. It's like hot rod style. Yeah. Well, those LS engines, I mean, they're, they're reliable, they're, they're powerful, kind of everything you want. Yeah, all in a motor, being fuel injected and all that, but it runs real well. You know, you can haul butt around this corner, yeah. you know, and she'll track tight on it. It goes fast in a straight line and through the curves. Right. Maybe it's got some rumble to it. Very positive on the shifting too. Boom. That's yeah, like a new car. Yeah. Drive this thing back home if you want to take it back <laughs> home. It's a bit of a haul, but you know I'm considering it. <laughs> Baby really does sound strong. Oh yeah. You gotta get it open it up a little bit. There goes the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to pick up a girl from her house with one of these <laughs> things, that's for sure. Daddy'll know you're there. Pretty day in sunny California. That's it, up here in Chino Hills. This is the good part of the area. Real nice and beautiful up here. Perfect day. A little bit warm for the 59, but yeah. But, but this car seems to like it. So when you need some AC, you know, just open Got up the your wing windows. Power oh, vent. man. Power vent windows. Yeah. So take that. So a 
until our next meeting, remember, honor the timeless classics. I'm Dennis Gage. Happy motoring.